Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. My name is Peter Igaga, and I want to welcome you to the one show that lights up your Wednesday night. It's called Men. So today we are going to talk directly to the men because we're talking about men who borrow money from women. Is it okay? Or is it something that as men we need to stop? Because you know, usually when it's the women getting money from men, nobody complains. But when it's men getting money from women, it is an issue. As I always say, we want to hear from you. This is your show. Go to our Facebook page, like it. Talk to us on Twitter. Let's have a conversation as the show goes on. Our handles are right at the bottom of your screen. Gentlemen, money, 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 money. It's a very delicate thing. It builds relationships, it breaks relationships. It even starts wars. And some of those wars are in our own homes. Chris, I'll start with you. Now, there is men who borrow money especially for women and they don't usually they, they're not very really inclined to pay you know as a woman by the time a woman gives you money it takes a lot from her it means she trusts you it means she cares about you even if she's just a friend okay and but but women always want their money back but now there's this growing trend and we've, we've been having seeing a lot of it um, on our, our social media pages where women are complaining that there's this crop of guys who are always borrowing money and just don't want to pay. Are we in a situation where it is fine because roles have, have changed, so now men are doing what women used to do, and it's fine? First of all, I, I don't think that it's okay to borrow and not pay back. Yeah. It's possible to be in a, going through a tough, a tough season, and uh, you're not able to pay back when you hoped you would, um, in which case it's good to explain to whoever you borrowed from that you can't be able to pay back and ask for some time and that kind of thing. But I don't think that whether it's men or women, whether there's anyone who doesn't want to be paid back yeah. when they lend money, yeah. okay? I, I think we need to establish that as a ground rule. That said, I... I also don't necessarily think that money has a gender. Mm. There's no male money and female money. Yeah. All right, money uh, is money. Sentence <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but there's that no male money and, you. Female mm. money and female money. Money is is money. So so how how we treat it and how we uh, carry ourselves around it needs to be. Um, in line with principles that we believe in, yeah. right? Um, I, I think that when it comes to uh, a union between a man and a woman, a marriage, I, I have probably very different views from views many men would hold. Mm. I, I don't think that there should be a centesom saja ne centesom chara is it chara i i personally don't think so i kind of feel that all the resources that come into a marriage come into a relationship belong to the people in that relationship um but i am very very aware of the fact that i am a very lone voice Yes. In, 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 in these Thank matters, God. I am very aware that I know the majority of people would say the man has his money, and the, the woman, woman has, has her money woman? for all sorts of reasons. And I find that for most men, uh, when you have your own money and no accountability, it allows you to get involved in excesses that you don't have to explain. Because mm. if you follow the money, mm -hmm. you follow the man. <laughs> right? So... That's an interesting one. Oh, yeah. All I need to do is follow your money, Peter, and I, I will know yeah. every, if, if you are only spending from a, a card, a debit card or a credit card, yeah. and I just tracked where the money is going, I will know who you spend time with, what you drink, yeah. what you eat, where you sleep, what fuel you buy, etc. Yeah. So, um, because of that, because money is, is that important and it's very tight to who we are, yeah. um, I feel that in a union, it should be for people together. Yeah. So for me, when you say that a man borrowed a woman's money, mm -hmm. I smell danger right there. Because what it is is that these people are not 
really together. They are together, but not together. And you get a scenario like what, which we had once, where a certain man was renting a house. And the landlord or the owner of the house was, you know, pestering him for payment. It's like, you know, then sometimes even borrows from his wife and he has to pay the rent and then pays her back and all that. Then one time, he got an opportunity to talk to the middleman. Mm -hmm. Say, but who is really, you know, when he kind of followed it, it ended up being that his own wife mm -hmm. was the owner of the houses. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And I, I think that, that that just tears a relationship apart. But um, just before we move to the other guys, are you trying to say that in a relationship, there shouldn't be his money and her money? That all I, the I, money has I to be the I think in pool. principle, the money that a couple earns yeah. should be their money. How it is managed can vary from couple to couple. But at the very least, I think it's, it's good. Look, because if you get intimate, if you go as far as get intimate, mm -hmm. which is, I, don't, I, I feel for me, is the highest currency. <laughs> huh? No, I feel like in your own generation. <laughs> no, no, I, honestly. I and I, I, and yeah. so I, I totally, I, to, I said at the beginning that mm. I know that I may be a, a, a minority a voice, voice. Yeah. Mm. a lone voice on this yeah. but I, I would like us to think about it if you can get intimate with somebody mm -hmm. and they see you you know in your adam's suit and all that yeah but somehow you can't talk about money share money so what i'm saying is i'm not saying it doesn't happen yeah. but i'm just saying that that very same thing mm -hmm. is a root for so much conflict in relationships okay. Faisal, your, your take. My take yeah, is just, yes. I'm not even going to say anything, just reverse everything Chris said. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but uh, I mean, uh, Chris does have a point with regards to where he is in his life. I mean, he's married, he knows the wife that well, yeah. and I'm sure the wife knows him that well as well. Yeah. But here comes a scenario where you know you've just you've gotten someone, you've been dating, let's say a year or two. But if you start that business of of we our money, our money and all that and all that nonsense, yeah, someone is going to lock you down and they're going to expect a lot of things from you. You're not yet even you're not it's not like you're even married or anything. But the fact that there's that whole version in our head of our money, our money, our money, yeah there are so many things you're going to subscribe to that you're actually not supposed to subscribe to because you're not married yeah yeah and uh so, so, they, so there's a say this, there's this a is say. a problem there there's a you, say you are here. with her mm. you are acting married you're enjoying married things well i'm talking <laughs> about <laughs> the real oh, i know <laughs> exactly i know it's, it's a real, real situation theory. so you're enjoying married things mm. but you do not want your money to act married <laughs> no 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 what i said is <laughs> our money is a myth now this is what is real your money is her money this is how it is your money is her money her money is not you know her money supposed is her to money. know anything about it yeah. it's supposed to just then, so then in that scenario when mm. you borrow money because I'd, I'd like to assume it's it's okay for her to come and ask you for money mm. and she expects you to give it to yeah, her but, but then when you borrow it from is it then okay not but to let pay me tell you something sometimes they're just i mean relationships very women vary there are these women where you buy you're going to borrow money from her but you're actually borrowing money from yourself <laughs> because yeah? you don't give it to i her. mean exactly because now i've given you two hundred thousand. tomorrow i come i'm like ah, by the way i'm broke she gives you back the same money so now at the end of the day she comes back she's like you took my money <laughs> <laughs> so give me some money i don't have money so in essence you're literally borrowing from yourself but but yeah. but yeah. you see that the best way to go about it is mm. not to think that there is my money her money so when no you one, say when you say i need to use some money whoever mm. has the money no one ever thinks about passes those it things, on to the other way. i don't no one ever thinks about those <laughs> things of my money our money money is just money <laughs> her money is her money your money is her money Full so stop. you have to just pay her back yes course. you have to pay her and and i mean women spend a lot more than men 
I mean, the women. Yeah. Are you generalizing? It depends. Yeah. The it women depends. I have been with. Yeah. It's different. I'm going to get a, a, a haircut. I, I mean, on a Sunday, I'm going to just go get a haircut, go back home. She's going to go get her hair done. I mean, it's not even just a haircut. Wash the hair, get the hair done, manicure, pedicure, then the eyelashes, yeah, the, the, the guy eyebrows, who, who the makeup. The then after you also come, I want a loan. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. This is right. You, I mean, I wouldn't borrow money from my wife unless I was really, really badly off. Mm -hmm. Because I know women have a lot of things they spend on and they're not really going to tell you everything because some things are personal. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Some things happen to women and they're like, you know what, there's this kind of, uh, I don't know, STI or something, I don't want to tell my husband about it, but let me just spend and then she'll come back to you and she's like, you know what, I don't have money and sent us that's, 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 that's a chala. very gray area. It, it is a man. gray area, but it is, it is what is there. It's <laughs> complicated. Mean, I, don't know, I don't know whether you want me to twist my words and say uh, Chinese, uh, but that is what is. <laughs> That's your one. That is my one. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think uh, I envy Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think uh, there's a saying, there's a saying mm -hmm. that uh, grass is always greener the other side. Yeah. Uh, and from where I sit, yeah. I the, think... The, green, the, green, the grass is much green greener. Yes. In Chris's <laughs> farm, the grass is very green. And, and, and I think Chris is, for us in social science, is what we call the ideal. He's on the ideal where the money is brought into the pool and most importantly he said it can come in the pool but well you can explain your expenditure habits and you get from imagine, that. Imagine okay? explaining to now, your wife everything you spend money on. But, but what I know in reality is a, it's a very sticky situation, the issue mm -hmm. of money. And uh, for me my take would be that uh, before I'm you borrow carry, from... I'm going to allow you to carry on with your take but I just want you to <laughs> remember. <laughs> yes that what you just said is ideal mm -hmm. mm. happens to be a reality for me yes that's what i'm saying and many others i know yes so the the reason why we're on this show is to hear the different perspectives mm -hmm. and different mm -hmm. ways in which people mm -hmm. handle things so oh, no, mm -hmm. right? i just I mean, want no no i just want to say that as you say in reality mm -hmm. this is my reality <laughs> <laughs> what I know, and, and that's what I'm explaining, the issue of borrowing money from your wife or your spouse, it, it, you first of all have to understand her, her money habits, yeah. okay? Because you might borrow from her and then you are not sleeping. <laughs> you are being Every time you return yeah, home, my money, my money, <laughs> okay? So money. there's no peace. You are returning at 4 a.m. My hair. <laughs> you, you see, home is supposed to be covered. That when everything else is tough, you return home and you relax. <laughs> so for me, if the men out there, when you are borrowing, first understand you are a woman and the kind of relationship that you, you enjoy. However, I would say, I would tell men that it is really very beautiful to borrow from your woman. It, mm. it, it, it's, yes, it's a very beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Because many times the money you are borrowing from your woman it's money that you are not going to waste. You can't. I mean, how dare you borrow money that you are going to bring in the bank? You're joking. Okay. It must be money for a serious cause. Okay. For a, a serious cause, you borrow this money and, and, and your wife understands where this money is going and that without it, your life will be very difficult. Then she will give you the money and she will give you all the time the for you to pay the money. The me? biggest problem here I know mm. with most with some men, let me say some men, is that you will borrow from your wife and you say, Sure, she's my wife. Why do I pay back? And After that, all I've done for yes, her. and that is where the problem starts. So do you go to borrow or do you go to ask? That's the question. Very important question. Now we do have to get into a break and we'll be right back <sighs> as soon as we are done with paying the bills. Welcome back. We're here at the Naguru Skies Hotel talking about men and borrowing money from their better halves. Should a man borrow money or 
in Banji's words, should he just ask for it? So she knows <laughs> that just not do it he's not going to pay back. <laughs> the thing is, Banji, I guarantee you she will not give it to you. No, she will give. Peter. <laughs> she will give. <laughs> you see, you see uh, two, two analogies I'd like to give. One is the proverbial six blind men who touched an elephant. Yeah. One said it's a wall, a leaf, a tree, tree trunk, a rope, whatever. The same elephant. Uh, same elephant. In other words, there are going to be about four different opinions. If you had ten men on this show right now, you'd have ten Opinion. different opinions. Mm. And so there are as varied opinions as there are men and as there are women. That's one. Number two, some of what my friend Banji has said, and, and I mean no disrespect, mm. but seems to me like trying to put makeup on a skeleton. How? Mm, you should explain. Because, <laughs> because when you have broken the fundamental, from the point you say, my money, her money, my house, her house, the, the minute you create that rift mm. between the two of you, then for goodness sake, you can't be asking for money. Can I, can I just interrupt? Do you see what I mean? It's going to be a scenario where you are borrowing because it's not yours. You have just made it clear it's not yours. Which in right? many cases is a reality. So, so that, that's an, you see, Peter, I, I want us to be clear. I am not saying that it's not a reality that there are people who separate money of man and woman. Not, not just, I'm not saying it's not, not just, there. Not just money. Huh? I mean, haven't, no, you, no, seen, listen, haven't, listen. You, haven't you seen couples of my phone, your phone? No, I, I get that. Phone, yeah, you even have 10 passwords in my your phone. My part of the bed, your yes. no part of <laughs> so, the bed, so, 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 my chair. So what I am saying, that, that, that what I am saying is at that point, it's not just dead. It's dead and dry bone like a skeleton. <laughs> So then you cannot you cannot put makeup on such a scenario and say instead of borrowing ask because already you are saying this is mine that's hers right so i think that and, and i guess this is where we need to revisit the fundamentals and we need to say okay if i'm getting into a long-term relationship what nature of relationship am I getting into? I come from a Christian background, and so uh, I, I think marriage. I think marriage, and I think about the vows that we make. The vow is, all I have, I share with you. All that I am, I give to you. All give I have, not share. listen. Huh? It's you say, oh, I give. All, all I have, yeah, all I have, I give to you yes. within the love of God. Mm -hmm. Now, what that really means. Is between you and this woman there is nothing like my you have just crossed from my to our and there is lots of benefit in that does everyone practice their vows fulfill their vows no but what I am saying is I have found comfort as an individual and many others that I know who have Re not removed that divide who have not put that divide between them as a couple where money is not an issue what about no. just a minute you see chris um i will repeat my words again that is the optimal position what it that, should be yeah. that I mean, we, we we would seek to mm. find ourselves in okay but part of the reality is that sometimes you will find in yourself, yes, you are in a marriage relationship, but the man is divided into her money and my money. How okay? did he get there? Now, once the man is divided into her money and my money, then the issue of borrowing now becomes very tricky. Okay? It becomes very tricky. I, I am one of the people who preach. Uh, I am not an economist. But I have preached that the best life is where you live within your means. Yeah. And that you only borrow if the money will be able to pay back itself. But if you are borrowing to go out and take one or two beers, then you are digging yourself into 
a, 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 a deep pit. Because Chris here, you've said before on the show that there are people who borrow, then you borrow from from uh, from Peter. When Peter demands, <laughs> you borrow from Faisal. When Faisal demands, you borrow from Chris. So you find yourself in a deep problem. So they are, they are, and that's why for me I went back to the nature of spouse or wife that you have. You could have, you know, discussed the issue of money, but you see that comfort in your marriage will be if there is her money and my money. Yeah. Okay? And if that is the situation in which you are, at some point T, you may find yourself without money. Exactly, because let me tell you something. Relationships are different. And not everyone, no offense, but not everyone has one wife in Uganda. I mean, there are men watching us right now who have more than one wife. This is a fact. More than one wife, more than one girlfriend, or you literally have, you have, let's say you have kids with three, three women. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me you're going to go to all these three women and be like, yeah, this is our money, our money, our money. You even go to the first woman. You tell her, even the other two women, their money is also our money. So literally, we have to be realistic. Yeah? For some relationships, like Chris and his friends, it works. Yeah? But when you come beside us yeah. to deal with vultures, yes, we are there in Kampala, struggling, struggling. You come and tell me after struggling, my entire life, you're telling me you know what? Our money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nothing. That's, that's, and it's, that, and it's and, and, and I guess that's why I said mm. that um, if you're putting makeup on a skeleton, mm -hmm. it's tough. Mm -hmm. Which you <laughs> right? are doing. So, so, there you have a challenge. No, I'll, I'll tell you what, if your just, fundamentals are not right. No, but I'll tell you where I beg to differ with you. Yeah. And I rarely agree with Faisal. Very, very, mm. very rare. Peter, Peter, I want, I want, I want to put your no, record no, 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 for, the last, for, the, for the last six shows we've had with Faisal. You have said that same thing. This, this, this reality is becoming so common. Faisal is growing. No, Faisal is becoming like this. But, but there are, without um, any, there are certain faiths that accept, okay? There are certain cultures that accept that a man can have. More, and this is like you said, it is the reality. Now, if I we are not only speaking to one set of people mm. who are like you, okay. Now, there are some people who think you're putting makeup on a skeleton, yeah. okay, but because they're like, nah, that, that's not realistic, it doesn't happen. Because there are other people who have grown up, and I'll tell you what, depending on or on, 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 on a relationship, there are pluses and minuses on both sides, and I'll give you a simple example. If I'm, uh, uh, I'm in a situation, uh, say if I'm a woman, and I'm in a situation where I manage my own money, I look for money, I put it on the table, anything happens to my husband, I can continue. When I'm used to this hour, hour, exactly. hour, uh. anything happens to him, no. what happens? You know what happens? Uh, you know what happens? Your husband dies, the relatives come, because they know it was not just your money, but with the husband, so yeah. they'll come for that money. Okay. This is why so, so, people so, so, are so, losing so, their property. So, so Faisal, that that, that can be taken care of, and it's always taken care of. I've seen it taken care of many ways, um, in terms of how you have uh, structured the ownership of the property, titles, wow, and things like wow, that. Wow, wow. Okay, yeah. hey, 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 hey. So, 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 what I want to say is this: mm. I am cognizant of the fact that that uh, there are people like Faisal and Peter who looks no, no, yes, who looks for. Not just one, but as an allowance of up to four, <laughs> right? So, 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 Faisal's problems are different. Please note that at, at the beginning I said that I come from a Christian background. Mm. Please note that. Mm. I think I was clear. Yes. And so I was applying what I was speaking toward that. I know a lot of Christians. Also. No, no, and listen. also a lot of Christians. I, I know. <laughs> Who are like Faisal. Yes. <laughs> but what I am saying is that when you've killed that, the fundamentals, it can't work. It can't work. But I just want you to know that even if you have said, because there is no woman who is going to be attached to any man, even in a Faisal scenario, mm -hmm. where she doesn't have what is hers from her husband where there is no exchange of money. In fact, I think your, your faith, um, if I'm not mistaken, 
you are allowed to marry up to four, quote unquote, if you can love them equally. Yeah. Yeah. Which thing I think is a lie, but is you you guys try I mean, to do I it. Don't, I don't have four women. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm I am saying is, I'm just walking away. But I'm <laughs> why, what, what, yeah, you can't balance. <laughs> you can't. Uh, Chris, you can't. <laughs> no, he, he can't. Okay, I can't. Uh, yes, but you can. can. Give me that. Let me find your card. Give me that. But but what what I'm saying is, here here is what I'm saying. I think that that whatever the complexity in a relationship I think that it's important to think our as compared to mine because I have seen guys who are bled to their grave by the very same people that have been dearest to them I know an old man whose wife got him he was land wealthy but he had an, a mine and yours yours and mine scenario concerning money so they know when to get you when you are enjoying they ask you questions <laughs> and, and you say and yes, you say yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right every, every all big questions are at the enjoyment <laughs> time yeah. of course this, you say this old man disclosed yes. a lot of information <laughs> <to Christ. laughs> so so they start selling off the land and guess where the collection is going? Mm. It says, ah, now in the village, my mom, my what, my what, my what. So every time there is a sale, there is an issue. But not everyone's seen yeah, it. Maybe this is a bad person. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. By, the time, by the time they ended, they got to the end of their lives, the guy is broke. But Chris, yeah. and that's again. just one story. Exactly, I can oh, tell you I mean, so how many, many others. others are there? But yeah. Chris, just yeah. hold the minute there. And, and this is the position I started from. That the beginning point should be for you to understand your spouse. And we should not forget that, especially for the still single, because you are not yet officially married, so I consider you single. <laughs> <laughs> Is no, you know, I'm only one ring on this show. So, so, so <laughs> the, the point not, I'm making is <laughs> there will be women who, and this is the reality, women, mm -hmm. please forgive me, who know that Faizo has money. Okay? And their objective is to come and get the money. Get yeah. the money. First, first way, first Hold first it a minute. Hold You're it a minute. No, no, no. You have money, my friend. Mm -hmm. So, otherwise, you wouldn't uh, be looking like that. <laughs> you will be looking a little bit different. It's a positive thing. Okay. Yeah. You will yeah. make a lot of money. Now, so, Faizo has to find himself in a situation where now he looks at his money and he looks at, you, you know, they, they say love is blind. They have always said love is blind. blind. What, a man who is in love does not use logic. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say, which type of woman is this one that I love? It, the, the people say the heart, the heart goes there. So the, the man is emotional rather than being logical. logical. So this is the man, he, he falls in love and he gets wedded and four or five, he puts the money together. It is our money. Four or five, down, four, five years down the road, he realizes our money is not working for him. Yeah. So he has to separate the money and it becomes my money, your money, then maybe some small our money somewhere for doing the collective responsibility mm -hmm. but she has hers he has his so now in such a scenario when su such a man uh, uh, lacks he will have no choice but to go to to the woman who now, usually is good at saving uh, at saving and so all that sometimes i have spoken to a few men who have said they would rather borrow from a peter a chris Rather than not from their wife. wife. <laughs> from their wife. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Now, because at the beginning you said, follow the money, you will know where the money is. Yes. Exactly. If now, you get it from a, a typical man, to... actually, a typical man, sometimes people should not know where you are going. <laughs> yes, there are men who hold that out there. This one is in love. Who hold that maybe. view that they shouldn't know where you are going all the time. In this country where the abduction, <laughs> you might be abducted. Oh. <laughs> so, so is it a but is no, it a thing of is it a thing of um such a tower in one side? Isn't that the thing you're going? <laughs> yeah. Did yeah. Did you did not kidnap herself? She knew yeah. Yeah. And then she knew our money. Hotel. <laughs> Talking about men and borrowing money from their better halves. Are you a man who is capable or who's okay with borrowing money? 
Will your wife give it to you and ask, it, ask for it back? Well, it's up to you to tell us. We want to hear from you. Go to your, our social media pages, that is Twitter and Facebook, and let's get this conversation going. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back from the break. We're here at the Naguru Skies Hotel on your favorite show, that is Men. The one show that talks about the things that usually nobody wants to talk about. And tonight we are talking about men and borrowing money. Now, guys, <laughs> yeah, we are, we, we've been having a bit of a tough conversation. Um, there's a comedian who once said that women have the ability to make money disappear. And he said it's interesting the way you, you, you actually give your, your, your wife money and then you go to the bedroom and come back and you remember you, you need it. For example, you've given her 100,000, you go to the bedroom, and then you come back and tell her, oh, you know what, I've, I've just remembered I, I don't have um, fuel in the car. Can you give me 10K? And she tells you, hey, don't you know how hard it is to get money in Kampala nowadays? And she tells you, no, you, I, I can't help you. Now, um, also, there are scenarios where, uh, Chris, you can't, I don't know. Relationships are different. But I think also as a man, your woman expects you to handle certain things. You mm. can't be the guy who runs to your, your wife about everything. Not, okay. not. Even if I need to do something and maybe I don't have the money, she should be able to trust that when I ask her for money, it's for a sensible reason. She doesn't now have to, 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 to almost give me a contract to sign and ask me, okay, tell me, what are you going to use it for? When are you going to pay it back? That kind so, of so thing. So, Peter, you know, but for me, I, I am not experienced in what you're talking about. <laughs> so I cannot contribute well, uh, authoritatively, yeah. um, because I, 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 I deal with uh, an our money scenario. Mm -hmm. um, so... So maybe, no maybe, maybe, maybe that the, the gentleman who are more experienced. Let me tell you how it happens. For me, for me, what I know, what I know, the challenge with Chris, I mean that like Chris, the, talk here, you said, right? Chris, the challenge I know, <laughs> borrowing from your spouse many times, is that you may go into a comfort zone. That she knows me. She knows mm. that I don't have mm. this money. Uh, besides, every time I get money, I meet other expenses. She can wait. Then you put her on the on the waiting, on list. The waiting list of the yeah. ten people you are supposed to pay. You put her <laughs> number eleven. So one month, two months. Three. So every time she reminds you, then you say you are nagging. You, but I even you know, you man. Money hey, hey, hey. But don't you? This. I paid the rent. I put fuel in the and car. The I'm car doing. broke down. I bought yeah. you a dress when we went to the other party. You wait, and that's where the problem is. So I would think that if a man borrows from his spouse he must have a plan to of how back. to pay back which he must communicate and this it is the duty of the spouse because she's his wife to remind him and say darling you promised to pay on the salary of october it's october yeah. but I let me tell you just before we get i just need to also get ask banji one, one other thing so banji just to for clarity mm -hmm. are we then saying that when a man borrows money from his spouse, mm -hmm. all those other things he does mm. do not add up to paying that debt. No. No. They don't. They, they don't. don't. They you don't. have said, darling, I am hard up. Even if there's no food in the house. <laughs> darling, I am hard up. I know you have your saving, which you've been meaning to take to your mother in the village of 100,000. Give it to me and we buy food. Yes. Lend it to me and, buy, and we buy food. That's why I talked of asking and borrowing. So Actually, if you use that money, you have borrowed it. You have used the word lend but, me. So, 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 Peter, so, Peter, so do you see? Uh, uh, just, Faisal, just, just a minute. Just, just a minute, question. Just mm. before you, that's another question. Uh, Let me at least first contribute to this <laughs> current <laughs> question. <laughs> you would have answered the current question. question. No, no, right no, no. Mm. Yes. The thing is this. Do you realize? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just noting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you realize that there is a problem? Because you have different money, this food she's eating. Yes. The kids who are eating the food are both your kids. Mm -hmm. But you're borrowing from your left hand. But isn't it your responsibility? To feed 
the mouth. Isn't it what I said? And guess what? And like Faisal said you earlier, are from you yourself. are the one who gave the money. Mm. Yes. You are the so, one who so gave. So do you see how convoluted? Don't hey, you guys see a problem with that? I'm just saying. You see, me, me who's speaking for my ideal yeah. scenario. Yeah. Let me Peter. Do you Peter, see a problem Peter, there? Let me ask you something. Uh, you have you have kids. Yeah. Have you, uh, there's this scenario where, I mean, I have friends. I have some friends of mine who, I mean, the kids are well, well off. And the parent is like, you know what? Some money. Yeah. Oh, my dad comes and asks me, you know what? Some money. First, give me some money. I'm in a fix. I need like a car, one, one million. So you give him the money. Mm -hmm. Do you know how difficult it is to get back that money? No, but a parent is yeah. different. I'll tell you what. And, um, there, it's, uh, it's a relationship. No, I'll yes, tell you what. You because see, even uh, in this other relationship, you're taking care of this person you're borrowing from. No, no, no. I'll tell you why a parent is different. First of all, I come from the school of thought mm -hmm. that actually it is wrong for a parent to borrow money from their child. Mm -hmm. um, because as, as it is, as a parent, you don't invest in your children. Okay, You raise your children. So you're raising them not so that they can come back and, and, and support you know you're giving them their life you're putting them up propping them up so they can fly mm -hmm. so it's I, I think it's also wrong to to put your child in such as because it happens there it are happens a lot of parents lot of who times. now but those are, that's what i'm saying they're two and different scenarios I, I, because they're parents you. who blackmail mm. their kids and say oh you know how much i suffered when i was raising you and all that which to me i think is wrong however when it comes to the issue of a spouse um is there our money where I agree with Chris is one of the easiest ways to avoid trouble is let your woman know how much you earn. Let her know what you're spending it on. Because that knowledge is where there's no, um, there's absence of, uh, of, of knowledge, rumors start, start spreading. And, and women are good at plan. They'll plan your money whether you tell them but how much is, you're making or not. Is now, first, wait, first ask Peter, is that the practice? First is ask Peter, is that the practice in his household? Mm. Or the practice on the show. Now, <laughs> it's I, I want a man answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. answer. No, 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 no. As you no, think about it, no, no, no. let him think about it. No, no. Please, let me pick from where Chris says. Why does it? Why does Chris? Why don't Chris? That is the that is the practice in my house. That is the practice in his house. Okay, good, good. And that is the practice that all men probably should adopt. Now, Chris said, if you borrow from your spouse to buy food, there is already a problem there. Yes, in fact. The family is the most chaotic institution. <laughs> Do you know why it is very chaotic? There are no written rules. You know, we go to class and we get MBAs, masters in public administration, a PhD in psychology. <laughs> Have you seen an institution where they teach you? We just learn on the from, from others. And the biggest place where we learn is on the job. Mm. Through try and error, by the way, many mm -hmm. times. Mm. Yeah. So you try, your hands are burnt. You try again, your hands are burnt until you find the right formula that's why like, like, i was in one my, church yeah. my formula the, i learned the reverend, through experience. the reverend who was marrying the, the wedding this couple bought them a blank book said open the first page they said there is nothing said exactly start writing your own Story. journey mm -hmm. don't read the journeys of At others us. so mukuru chris some people some couples have found that your money my money is what it's works okay. for yeah, them and it. you know in the football they say you don't change a winning team <laughs> if the team is winning you let it play even, and even play it's winning <laughs> like you man you the season starts and they're just you are winning, you are winning from behind <laughs> no 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 me but man you has a problem, the problem. <laughs> but you don't change a winning team and that's why you see a team will buy a player who is very good but if he comes in a setup which is winning, he will remain on the bench yeah. until the team starts losing. So there is a tendency in life for us to get a position. It might not be the best position, but the moment it is working for us, we say, well, that is let easy. me be here. Let me maintain this equilibrium. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so I, the, I, just, I just want to ask you a question, yes. even as you um, carry on with this thought. Um, do you sometimes find that you have a desire to be in a relationship where when money is needed and it's available between the two of you, it shows up without any strings attached? For me, yeah. the position in which I am, when there is money, when money is needed and it is the other side and we need it and my side there is nothing, 
my known sides there is nothing man <laughs> appears <laughs> because you see women are women are very creative she, she will give you a budget she wants to buy things of 100 mm, and she will mm. make a saving of 20. she doesn't have to come and broadcast and say i have saved 20. Mm. it is our money when it is in her hands you trust that it is as good as being in your, in your hands, in your hands. Yes. so when you are there thinking saying ah what do we do today say, ah, ah wait a minute there is 150,000 here let mm. us use this that's why i went to the beginning i said in a relationship you must understand you must study Each your adult. spouse Okay, study your spouse and uh, then the character of your spouse mm -hmm. will determine how you play this politics of money. Do you yeah. realize that you're still pivoting toward where I started? Because I'll tell you what, guys. <laughs> the thing is this. We can start by arguing and saying there is my money, her money and all this. Mm -hmm. But the chaos that divide brings, right? Because I know I, I, I was in a certain church many years ago and a story was told of a guy who had borrowed money from his wife and she was no nonsense the type who tell it to you in public in <laughs> private and in public yeah she would tell him of how she van just him and all that just dressing him down and the guy got to a point where he went to his friends and said, guys, I must pay back this woman's money this weekend, otherwise I have nowhere to turn. Mm -hmm. Now, you imagine the torture you go through. Because there is a terrorist at home who wants their money. And that terrorist happens to be your bedfellow. But, I, I find a problem but, 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 with but that. Then, Am I wrong but, but in maybe, thinking that that's maybe, not a good idea? No, but maybe... That's, she knows why she also knows you mm. you're the kind of person who she if she does not put pressure knows. on you will not bring back exactly. the money so, so, but, but, so, guys, so then a man is going to go mm. and borrow from pete but chris there is, a, there from, is something we have missed i mean even borrow when from you're borrowing whoever? even when you're borrowing you're not going to borrow from someone who's going to shoot you tomorrow because you don't have the money uh, you but, but your the wife can shoot you at home the best people to borrow from <laughs> <But> <laughs> you make sure you pressure you pay yeah you pay something something you're going to be sweating the entire time you want work something we have not discussed is why are you borrowing this money because that is also a very important item you see so chris yeah we have our money in our household, we have our money, a pool of 100%. Yeah. But the reason for which I am borrowing does not contribute to the strategic plan of this of family. family. You remember the strategic plan we discussed in the previous shows? It has nowhere. It is an outlier. The man, this money is going to spend, be spent on other things. So you can't come to this pool. Even when you come to this pool, you'll be, you'll be, your, your bid will be rejected. Give me an it. Give us so some example. Yeah. Give us some like, example. Like, like what? So she will come to you. She will tell you, "I have a dinner. I need to buy a dress. It's five hundred thousand. I need a loan from this money, which is our money. The dinner is not. You're not going. You're not even invited. But you. It's her work but wait, how can she you be lending? She will take that money. But how can you lend your wife? But that's well, the thing I'm saying. <laughs> no. That's what you say. And that's the, this that's is what exact same argument. Okay. <laughs> oh, me, I told you. Oh, my, you, you me, say, I told you. It, 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 my this, this is you how my <laughs> ideal world <laughs> works. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You see, I'll, 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 I'll tell you what. My one. ideal world is uncomplicated. No, no, I'll tell you one thing, guys. And the reality is, just as Banji has asked Pfizer, as a man, which in all fairness, if you told her, look, you know what? Um, for example, okay, she wants 500,000 shillings to buy a dress. Mm. And you tell her, all right, you know, honey, um, I have a million shillings, but I was planning to spend it on, maybe I need to buy some, some chickens, I'm going to sell them. Mm. So, and she says, yeah, 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 I'm going to get paid, I'll give it back, all right. If you ask for that money, even if you tell your friends, maybe you're going to get together, you were contributing a million, everybody here was contributing a, a million each. Then I come, I say, hey, guys, I'm sorry, I'm 500,000 short because my wife borrowed. borrowed. Yes. <laughs> the same question that Banji asked, I will be asked. I'll be told, but dude, you, you lent her your money. Because first of all, did you really expect her to pay you back? Number two, <laughs> I mean, how can you, you be like, you're supposed to give her the money. But, that's, but, that's but, but, but the thing is that Jamila, that same thing should be the scenario the other way around. Because if, 
uh, if we had had wow. a woman on this show, she will tell you, men don't pay back your money. But men don't pay back. Men exactly. don't pay back men. men. So do you don't pay back women. <laughs> exactly. So, 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 you know why? Because the guy is also saying, do, look, you're my wife. Don't stress me. <laughs> huh? Same thing. Because it's so your see, money because together. Is your money. <laughs> if, 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 you see, your brother. If, if you borrow from your wife, uh, most likely you will not pay back. Ah, let there me, you let go. me tell you, it, you and it is a okay. recipe for disaster because as a man, <laughs> once you do it once, you're going to do it twice. I'll, I'll Tomorrow you'll you come back, she'll chase you. Next time we're, we're going to make sure we have a woman on this show for this <laughs> because we, I think it's important that we get a woman's yeah. point of view. Now we've reached that point where we do have to wrap up the show. So Parting shot, we'll start with you, Banji. What <laughs> advice do you have for men <laughs> who borrow must, money? Must give Banji a minute. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let him talk. Him talk him. <laughs> you see, <laughs> no, first, first talk. Okay, I, I have just realized that this is a very complicated issue. Money because is. Money you, you is. remember the question I asked Faizu? How, how do you lend money to your wife? <laughs> so, it's the same question. How do you borrow? From your wife, how mm. do you borrow? You don't. The money is yours. Yeah. Okay. And, and and it doesn't matter what kind of uh, marriage. Yeah. Because we know there are the legal marriages, but we know that there are other types of marriages that are now acceptable. <laughs> you have been cohabiting for ten years. Ten. Uh, One year. Even, sure. Okay. Now I'm giving an example. <laughs> ten years. And it, because you, uh, as Chris said. You are living like a, 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 a husband and wife, and then you don't want to do the things of husband and wives. Mm. Then you are in the wrong relationship. So, yeah. yes, it is a very sticky situation, but I know out there that they are men. When mm. when things are tough, they turn their spouses either borrow from the family money to do some things, or borrow from the woman's money to do some things. The message I have for these men is just very easy. Please, if you borrow, pay back. Because hmm. that's but, the meaning of the word borrow. Yes, if you borrow, pay back. However, borrowing should be last resort. Mm -hmm. Really, it is our money. So let us use it without borrowing. <laughs> Great stuff, Faisal. Your parting shot. <clears throat> well, first of all, I'm not going to ignore the fact that while your saint is a <laughs> <laughs> that has been known for a very long time. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, sir. You're not going to tell your wife to leave money behind. It is your wife to tell you. So, ideally, Chris kind of has a point, but it is not that realistic to every, every relationship out there. I mean, we have Muslim men watching. I mean, what are, do, should they not tune in because they are supposed to share their money? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are, I mean, we are living in a very... This is a free, it's a free generation, yeah? The woman has, wants to build her things by herself, you know, have her own building. She looks at it, she's like, yeah, that's my building, yeah? Without having the man interfering. Mm -hmm. Because, like it or not, relationships these days are very, very volatile. Mm -hmm. You never know what's going to happen, my friend. You'll be together for 10 years, then you bring a maid and that is the <laughs> end, yeah? You're not going to start arguing, hey, now we have to separate our money, what which is because I mean we are living in a life where you always need a contingency plan. It does not matter how foul proof, the, the, how the, fireproof your marriage is. The maid is not uh, your Okay, fine. Shows. I mean I even left it. But it does not matter how, how uh fireproof your marriage is. Yes, the, the our money will be there, but you also have to have your reserve as she has to have hers. Because Anything can happen. Chris, your parting shots. I know you've been feeling like today the guns have been No, 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 no. <laughs> I, am, I, I was happy for the guns to be pointed at me. Because at the end of the show, the they guns are pointing away, away from me. <laughs> <laughs> because we, we, we all really get to agree that the, 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 the fundamentals of any relationship are that you are together, doing things together, for your own good. Mm. Um, so... The permutations may be different, but the principle is really the same. That the resources are yours. And so the, the best scenario is for us to work toward our money. Um, so that you do not have people putting each other on gunpoint in the bed across the, you know, from one pillow to the next of pay me.
Yeah. You're not getting some until yes, you pay. Yes, because when, when, when she pays you, <laughs> then she says, I'm also I'm not just, giving you. But it's my right to get. <laughs> then you fight and then there is marital just rape and things. Something. I, think, I, I really think that... Um, I, I, I really think that the best scenario is work towards saying these are our resources. And I think in one of the breaks, uh, Banji was saying that, you know, you could say of what I get, this percentage is what I put in. This percentage is mine to keep, to spend on the people on my side. And you also keep a certain percentage to spend on the people on your side. People have different permutations. But nonetheless, whatever the permutations are, if it's our money, then it reduces the chances of borrowing in between which is very difficult because here's what the bible says and i'll close with this it says that the borrower is servant to the lender so every time you borrow from each other as a couple one is becoming boss over the other so guess what happens when you are the guy and you borrow from your wife food for thoughts <laughs> ladies and gentlemen we have had a great evening talking about money money is always a very sticky issue Mine is just one simple thing to the guys. Your relationship is your relationship. What works for you works for you. But nobody knows a man like a man. And men, if you use the word borrow, if you borrow, you have to pay back. That's just the way it is. Otherwise, just tell her she's giving you the money with those few words. I say good night and God bless from us here at the Guru Skies Hotel.